A man on the run accused of shooting his ex-girlfriend and two children is captured in Chicago in a story only on two this week. We took you inside the South Suburban home where the attack happened. Now the suspect Lander Coleman is in the hospital after a long standoff in the Roseland neighborhood. CBS 2's Darius Johnson is live with how this all unfolded. Darius. Jim and Marie for nearly 10 hours. Neighbors were forced to stay inside their homes as police and the FBI waited for attempted murder suspect Lander Coleman to surrender himself. Eventually, he shot himself and is now in the hospital. This is Lander Coleman. He's the man Mats and police have been searching for the last 13 days. It felt like my heart stopped. It nearly stopped on May 18th when Ngozi Harris got the call that three of her cousins were shot inside their Matson home. A mother, her 12 year old son and her 23 year old daughter all shot allegedly by her ex boyfriend Lander Coleman. Ms. Coleman turned around, shot Junior twice, one through the arm and one through the leg. The 12 year old's father spoke exclusively to us inside the home where it all happened. It's probably the most unsettling and scariest call I've ever received. but. For that hour and a half, not knowing, you know, if my child was dead or if my child was, you know, not knowing. That was the worst part of it. As he learned loved ones would be okay, he's still worried about where Lander Coleman was. That wasn't known until around midnight when he was spotted by Chicago police at 96 in Perry walking with a gun to his head. Un sujeto intentó de... County Marquez lives feet away from where this all happened. In Spanish, he tells me police escorted him and his daughter out of the home after Coleman tried to get inside. He showed us video of Coleman on his knees in the middle of the street with the gun to his head as police tried to negotiate. It's too graphic to show. Around 9.30 this morning, nearly 10 hours after the standoff, the FBI says Coleman shot himself. He was then taken to the hospital. Right now, we know Coleman is currently listed in stable condition at the University of Chicago Medical Center. As for his ex-girlfriend, who was shot seven times, you'll hear from her at 6 o'clock right here on CBS 2 News. For now, we're live in Roseland. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2. Darius, thank you.